Hello everyone and welcome to another Jurassic World Dominion review on Jurassic Collectibles. Tonight we are taking a closer look at the release in Rampage Pack, an exclusive set which released in the States and which depicts sequences at the Malta Black Market. On the back of the packaging you can see we get a better look at the items included in the set, which are a capture cage, Cyana Santos, and Ghost of the White Atrocy Raptor. Let's crack this set open and sink our teeth into it, as this is one I've been very excited to get my hands on. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the containment cage we get in this set, complete with space inside for an Atrocy Raptor. This is a cool cage and the kind of scenery piece which I hope we get more of. The cage door can slide up quite easily to allow a figure to be placed inside it, which is very welcome. I love the dry brushing for scuffing on the metal for the cage hair, helping to make it feel less like a piece of plastic and more like a metal containment unit. I also appreciate the additional details for keypads and other areas of sculpt work which are packed into this. It isn't groundbreaking, but it's certainly a welcome addition to the collection. Soyana Santos is a cool new figure who has a decent likeness to Daishan Lachman. I really like the aesthetic of this character and her unique apparel, and I think the face sculpt on this figure is really good. I also like the accessories included here, with a remote control in one hand and a stun baton in the other. This is a cool new human who pairs well with the prior released Rain Delacourt, although her torso does perhaps feel a little plain and would benefit from some additional paintwork for things like buckles. Lastly we have the Atrocy Raptor, who comes in a great white colour scheme with some decent brown highlights. I love how Ghost colour scheme emulates the appearance of the female Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor. This figure packs in some decent articulation, including a hinge joint in the neck which is always a nice inclusion, and the figure also has the DNA tab which can be pulled out of the figure's torso. I do wish there were more paint apps for ghost claws however, and it is also worth noting that the legs of this figure do get warped in the packaging. For my first Atrocy Raptor, it's not a bad figure though. Overall this is a pl fun playset, even if there are a few areas where I think small improvements could be made. I think that Mattel tend to release more playsets in film years as it adds a lot of variety to the items that we have the opportunity to purchase, and it's something that I really like. I think there's a lot of scope for more playsets in the future, um, so I really do hope we see more items like this down the line. That's it for this review, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. As always, take care and have a great week.